Namaham Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Sarasati Devi Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshatarine Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhattavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare so we are continuing with our uh, recount of the pastimes of Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as described in the Krishna book. This evening we are at chapter number 9, Mother Yasoda Binds Lord Krishna. <laughs> So we're going to hear a very famous pastime. Of course, you probably, with, with the approach of Kartik, we uh, make a lot of uh, propaganda work, introducing people to the worship of Krishna and this pastime of Mother Yashoda binding Lord Krishna. เป็นบทนี้นะคะเป็นบทที่เป็นที่รู้จักกันมากนะคะแล้วก็ตอนนี้เนี่ยเดือนการติกก็กำลังจะมานะคะเรื่องราวนี้เนี่ยเป็นเ
ลีลานี้นะคะลีลาการที่ที่คุณแม่เนี่ยได้มัดกระชนาเนี่ยเกิดขึ้นในวันเดวาลีนะคะซึ่งเป็นเทศกาลที่ยิ่งใหญ่ so because it's a big festival there were many people everybody was very busy You know, all the ladies in the village, all the men, they're all very busy because they have to do many things. They have to uh, decorate their home, and they have to decorate the children, and they have to clean everything. So everyone is very busy. So because everyone was busy, Mother Yashoda, she also had was was doing work, and she was helping to churn the butter because every day they get milk from the cows, and so they make the milk from milk. They can make yogurt, and then from yogurt they get the butter, churn the butter, take the butter off from the milk. So they have to churn it, and everything was done by hand. There was no electricity in those days, no machines. It was all done by hand. So while she was churning the butter, Mother Yashoda would sing songs about Krishna, and in this way she would be able to remember about her son. And you know, because she is remembering about her son. So she, 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 she's accustomed to breastfeed her son. So when she started to think of her son, the milk started to flow in her breast, and the milk, the milk would drip down her body. So Mother Yashoda was sweating because she's churning the milk, and and the, the also her because she's churning the milk. Then her hair also loosened a bit, and the flowers which were in her hair they began to fall from her hair. And, it, it, and while she was doing all of this and sweating, at that time Lord Krishna came, and he wants to. He wants his mother to give him some love. He wants, you know, he's a small boy, and he likes to get his mother's affection. So Lord Krishna came there and began to pull on Mother Yashoda's sari, and you know, saying, you know, take care of me. I feed me. I want some. I want to drink your breast milk. And so Mother Yashoda picked up her son and put her. Breast into his mouth and began feeding him. So while she was feeding him, she had Lord Krishna on her lap and she's feeding him her breast milk. But then she had some milk. Boiling on the stove, and the milk began to boil over. And 
ตอนที่นางกำลังก้อนนมประชัยเนี่ยไอ้นมที่นางได้ต้มใช่ไหมคะมันเริ่มเดือด so mother yashoda was keeping the very best milk for lord krishna because she knows her son sometimes goes to other gopis houses to steal butter and milk so she wants she thinks if i have the best milk for him he won't go to the other houses <laughs> We were hearing last week about how the gopis would complain. Krishna comes there and he steals our butter. He steals our yogurt. And they were, there were other gopis were complaining to Mother Yashoda. So Mother Yashoda had she had the best cows. She had from all of her cows there were there were some of the best cows, about eight cows, which were very special. And she kept these cows and she gave them special food. She gave them special grasses so that they would produce the best milk. And she would keep that milk for Krishna. So when that th that was the milk that was boiling over on the stove, it was it wasn't just any ordinary milk, but it was the very best milk from those very special cows which she'd been feeding and caring for. To get the best thick, creamiest milk to give to Krishna. The acharyas tell us that at why the milk boiled over because the milk was in ecstasy seeing Mother Yashoda feeding Krishna. The milk was in ecstasy, and the, the, that was the, that caused the milk to rise up and overflow. Everything is conscious in Krishna's pastimes, so even the milk is conscious, and the milk can also feel ecstasy. So. When the milk began to boil over, Mother Yashoda jumped up and she put baby Krishna down and she ran to the stove to take care of the milk. So when his mother put him down, Krishna became very angry. And his eyes became red and red and the anger, and his uh, he, he bit his lips, and he was he was really upset. Because he was not finished drinking his mother's milk, and his mother had interrupted him drinking her breast milk. So, uh, 
ังดูดไม่ได้อิ่มเลยตรงแม่วางเราก็เลยแบบโมโหนะ So he found the a small he found the stone there and he took that stone and he broke the pot of butter and they took the butter and he began to eat the butter. Krishna is very fond of butter. So one of his names is Makan Chor, the butter thief. Of course, Krishna doesn't need to steal anything because everything is his, and he's self-satisfied. He doesn't need anything, but he does it to give pleasure to his devotees. He sees his mother taking so much trouble to prepare butter for him, so he enjoys stealing it and give and, and, and he enjoys distributing it to others and even giving it to the monkeys sometimes. So Krishna was he broke the pot of butter and he took the butter. He went away to a quiet place he, because he knew he'd done something bad. So he wanted to get. He didn't want his mother to come and get him. So after Mother Yashoda had put the the pot with the boiling milk, she took it off the stove. Then she came back and she saw how the pot of butter had all been broken, and she knew t h e r e must be Krishna who done it. Nobody else could have done it. So she thought this child is very clever. He broke the pot of butter. And then he's afraid of getting punished, so he's gone hiding somewhere. So Mother Yashoda has to look for him, and finally she finds him, and he's sitting there. On a on the big wood, there's a big wooden grinding mortar, because they cook big quantities. So they have, and they they don't buy any pot. They have to grind the spices, everything they do by hand. So they had this big grinding mortar where they would grind the spices, and it was upside down. He was sitting on top of it, and he's giving butter to the monkeys. <laughs> พอคุณแม่เริ่มหาไปเนี่ยก็เป็นฉากตอนที่คริสนาเนี่ยถิ่นตอนนั้นเขาต้องทำกับข้าวกันใช่ไหมคะเพราะมีคนเยอะแล้วก็ในการตามเครื่องเทศหรือทำเครื่องเทศอะไรก็แล้วแต่มันจะเป็นเขาจะมีโครกอาหารที่ไว้ตามเองแล้วก็ตอนนั้นเนี่ยไอ้โครกนั้นเขาเขาคว่ำหน้าไว้อยู่นะคะคริสนาเนี่ยปรากฏว่านั่งอยู่ข้างบนข้างบนโครกแล้วก็กําลังแจกเนยให้กับพวกลิง And she saw Krishna sitting there, but at the same time he's quite nervous, and he's looking from side to side. He's looking to see if his mother's coming, because he's a, he knows he's done something wrong, 
and he knows his mother will be looking for him. So she came creeping up behind him very silently, but Krishna saw her coming. And she had a stick in her hand because when you churn the butter, you have this big stick, this big rod. So she was carrying that rod in her hand. So Krishna thought, oh, she's coming with a stick, she's going to beat me with this stick. So immediately saw his mother coming, he jumped up and he began to run. And Mother Yashoda Samra, she also began to run after him to try to catch him. So it's very interesting how Krishna is being chased by Mother Yashoda because even the great yogis and meditators, they cannot approach Krishna, they cannot capture Krishna. So Mother Yashoda, <laughs> she was running after Krishna, but it was not so easy for her to capture Krishna because she has a thin waist, but she has a big breasts because she's feeding her child regularly, so her breasts are very big, so difficult for her to run. <laughs> and Mother you should have been working all day, she's tired, but somehow she managed to capture her, to, to grab a hold of him with one hand. And so when Mother Yashoda caught hold of Krishna, he began to cry and he took his hands over his eyes and smeared all the black ointment around his eyes, his whole face become covered in the ointment. So Mother Yashoda saw that Krishna was very afraid of her. And you know, Mother Yashoda of course was not going to do any harm to Krishna. And she knew it's not good if this child is too afraid of me. I don't want him to be afraid of me, that's not good. What will happen to him if, he, if he's always afraid of me like this? So she realized maybe he's afraid of this stick because I'm carrying this stick, maybe he thinks I'm going to beat him with it. So she threw away her stick. So she thought, maybe I should tie his hands with some ropes so that his hands can't do so much mischief. 
ล้วก็นางก็นางก็คิดได้ว่าอ๋อตรงสายชั้นเนี่ยควรที่จะมัดมือเขาไว้ดีกว่าเพราะว่าเขาเนี่ยทำความซุกซนมากด้วยมือนี้ Mother Yashoda thinks of Krishna as her child she doesn't think of him as God Haribo Haribo Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama. Hare 